All right, guys, there was some huge news that shook up the entire YouTube content creation streaming world, man. And these new, the news was Ninja left Twitch, which is insane. Make sure you guys subscribe so you can find out what's going to happen next. Let's go ahead and get into it, though. Leaving Twitch, the next chapter, Ninja leaves Twitch. This is my reaction and how I feel about it. Let's check it out. I know this may come as a shock to many of you, but as of today, I will be streaming exclusively on Mixer. Now, when I first heard about this news, I was like, what in the actual fuck Mixer? Now, here's a funny little story. I actually played with Mixer before I even played with Twitch. And the reason why is because I feel like, to be honest, Mixer's UI is much more seamless and faster. The problem is they don't have the numbers, they don't have the viewer base, and I do feel like they are missing some features that Twitch has, like the extensions and stuff like that. Um, Twitch Prime, you know, they don't have those things. And in my opinion, there's no, I was just thinking in my mind, there's no way that Ninja left unless they paid this guy a fat check. We're talking 10 to maybe 50 mil for a check, man, and I might be lowballing. Because his Twitch channel could potentially be worth, he was already making six figures off of his Twitch channel, and it could potentially be worth way more in the future. He has so many Twitch Prime subs, plus people just, you know, donating to him on a daily basis, plus his YouTube income. Like, is Mixer going to be, Mixer's not a big enough platform, and even if he converts his viewers, will they want to donate on Mixer? You know, there's tons of streaming sites that allow viewers to donate, but they don't like donating on there for some reason. They just like donating on their favorite platforms to their favorite content creators. And you like strip them of that. Just because you convert a lot of people doesn't necessarily mean they're going to support you the same. Who knows, man? It's the same like, okay. You try to get people on your YouTube to go follow you on Instagram. It doesn't really happen until you're like super, super big. And even that takes a long time. So in my opinion, I don't know if this is the right move on Ninja. But I guess for the money in long term and just being okay knowing that if his Twitch stream just never makes money again. Or if he never makes the same amount. He will have a nice bag, you know, and he will be able to take care of his family, his wife, his um, maybe his future children. His life will be set and he'll be good. Maybe that's why he took this deal and Twitch, let's be honest, is dying. But let's keep going. I know, I know. It's exciting. Uh, yes, yes, the handsome guy in the front. Uh, how is this going to affect your gaming abilities? It really won't. It's the same me, just a different platform. Yes. What are you most excited for about this change? You know, I feel like this is a really good chance to get back in touch with my roots and really remember why I fell in love with streaming in the first place. Alright, so he said to get back to my roots. He said, I think this is a chance to get back to my roots. And get back to why I was streaming, why I fell in love with streaming in the first place. Take that. There's something to this video. Ninja is blankly saying something out loud because Twitch has be clearly become super strict. It doesn't um, allow streamers to do certain things, and if you and female streamers are like, like preferred over male streamers, regardless if they're partner or not. <laughs> Honestly, you can have a female with like 200 followers on Twitch and then have a guy with like 500k on Twitch and the girl with 200k, I mean the girl with 200 like followers will be get more better treatment than he will as a partner. Think about that for a minute. I do think in a way when Ninja is saying getting back to his roots, maybe he's talking about getting back to esports. And maybe I know Halo Infinite's coming out. I don't know if that has something to do with it, but I feel like maybe he's getting back to his roots, to where he's gonna be on these esports tournament runs, and then he's gonna stream when he wants to, and then he wants to focus on doing things outside of streaming too. 
but Mixer gives him that ability because he's like, okay, I still have my follower base. I still, a lot of people still know me. You know, he's looking at the long term of things. So, in all, I don't really see the benefit of moving to Mixer, but at the same time, I understand the check may have been enough. And plus, Mixer could probably benefit from this. Who knows? Mixer could be the biggest streaming platform in the next couple of months just because Ninja's there. You know, and then Twitch is already falling apart. Mixer, in my opinion, has a way better UI if they can just add some more features, figure out how to advertise, and get themselves out there. Because the platform is good. It's not like Mixer's a bad place to stream. It is great. The problem is now, they don't have the discoverability. They don't have the algorithms in place. They don't have the infrastructure. They don't have the people. They don't have the community. So with Ninja moving, this could be a clear indication that people may actually be interested in Mix Mixer. And I like that he's staying on YouTube, of course. Does it make sense to move from YouTube? You're getting 34 million views per month. That's a fat check in itself. Um, I think Ninja's doing the right move. And I think, to be honest, if I'm in Ninja's position someday, if I was ever in that position, to be honest, I would... I would definitely take the deal too. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to myself. I would take the deal, especially if it's a good amount of money and it means I can invest more money. I can buy real estate. I can invest back into my uh, streaming and content creation. Maybe I can branch off and do bigger things than just what I do from streaming and YouTube. It It's no brainer why Ninja took this. Um, it just, I wonder if it's gonna work out for both parties. And like I said, um, he said getting back to his roots. A chance to get back to his roots. So you gotta hear that, man. The first place. I really remember why I fell in love with streaming. A really good chance to get back in touch with my roots and really remember why I fell in love with streaming in the first place. Ninja, 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 you never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cheesy, but it's kind of funny too. It's not that bad, to be honest. <laughs> so, is the refrigerator representing his Red Bull deal? Like, they just have the refrigerator, the refrigerator there to ask him, "Do you still have that deal with the Red Bull because you're not on Twitch?" I wonder. Wow. I mean, that was one of the best questions I, I've ever been asked. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Bushy. I wonder if this affect your win-loss ratio? I really wouldn't worry too much about my win-loss ratio. I'll be just fine. Steve, the button. Steve. Steve! Him doing this deal, is it bad? No, not at all. I think Twitch needs competition. Twitch needs competition bad, bro. You know what? As a matter of fact, I may have at the beginning of this video been a little bit towards the side of no, don't leave Twitch because it's more popular, but fuck Twitch, to be honest. It's a, it, to be honest, Twitch is becoming a bad platform. I still stream on Twitch. There's no reason for me to move the mixer. I have my base on Twitch, but best believe if I grow a base on Twitch and I continue to grow on YouTube and there's an opportunity to get on another platform, I will establish my brand there. It's no brainer. Ninja's on everything now. Okay? He's on everything. I'm on every I'm getting to a point to where I'm on everything. I think every content creator should try to get their hands on every platform they can. That way if something goes south, they have a backup. Anyways, oh yeah, and also a website, even a website. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and peace.